Welcome everybody, it's time for Cutthroat Wrestling to return. It's your boy Blaze McCoy, and you don't want to miss this table fuckery. Six foot three, weighing at 230 pounds, an AKW homegrown talent, very proficient at striking, broke into the business at just 14, trained by Roger Quinn. Of course, Travis Rex in possession of the original AKW World Heavyweight Championship. Roger Quinn and AKW management have sent Haidu to the United States in an attempt to take the original belt from Travis. Travis Rex, of course, from right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, my hometown as well. Back at home through the Cutthroat Center. Travis Rex standing six foot tall, 220 pounds, still holding that title. Now you know if you're following the Wrestling Network, Devlin, Corey Quinn, what a match it was. Travis didn't show up. We have a new AKW World Champion, but at the same time, Travis holds this gold. And Roger Quinn wants it back. We got Haidu, and we got Travis going at it right inside, inside the ring here. Table fuckery. <laughs> Gonna be something you've never seen before. And if you've seen Cutthroat Wrestling, you know it's about to get crazy. Starting off, chop, chop, chopping away, both men. Looking to gain the advantage. Take down there. Oh, 
Are both men feeling the effects already? Anything goes. You have to be put through a table twice. It's gonna be gruesome, people. Hold on to your hang dangs and grab your biscuits. You're about to get bloody, you're about to get nasty, you're about to get cutthroat. Your boy plays McCoy on the mic. I do Tagata unloading a mercenary, an assassin sent by Roger Quinn to retrieve the original title off of Travis Rex. Travis? Hey, he still, he still proclaims he is the true, the real AKW All-Core Wrestling Champion. He never lost the title, but he never showed up for the fight either. I don't know. Travis has called Corey a big pussy several times in my conversations about this whole endeavor. Because he said Corey wouldn't come take the belt himself. Well, he said, she said going on. You know what say about those? Two sides to every story, and the truth somewhere in between. Travis Rex is the founder or owner of Cutthroat Pro Wrestling. Oh, he got a hold of uh, Corey and company at AKW said, send your best to physically take this championship away from me. And that's what we got right here in Pittsburgh. Big time main event, big match feel here. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs right on his back. He's going to need a back academy. Travis Rex flexing the ringside here. Oh, big kick by Haidu. Tagata now. The ringside area, the fans. Telling Haidu he sucks. I don't think he cares. He's on a mission. A mercenary, I say. Put to the test by Roger and Corey Quinn, apparently. Well, you saw if you missed it right on the Wrestling Network. Go check out how Corey Quinn and Devlin's epic encounter broke down. I just shook my head at the end. You gotta be shitting me. Working on the arm now as I do. Wrenching back. I do trained by Akari and learned under Roger when he came to the UK. He also lost to Travis in the Championship Eliminator match on an episode of Fight for Glory. Now he's got the table. Keep in mind, folks, one table ain't enough. You gotta go through two. Elbow there by Haidu. Just viciously stomping the face of... Oh, no. Oh, and another one right to the face. Haidu in total control now. Sent here to get this championship off of Travis Rex. Going up top. I do going high spot, high risk. Didn't work out as Travis escaped with a vicious right hand by Rex. Travis <laughs> Into the near corner now. Travis Rex going to work on high do. Pittsburgh crowd loves Cutthroat. I'm so glad to be back. We got more. This is just a teaser. Just to give you a little taste. The Cutthroat ain't gone. And your boy Blaze is just happy to be a part of all four wrestling, cutthroat wrestling, and anybody else in the wrestling network has my services. They pay well, people. They pay well. Look at us. <laughs> Paint brush, you know, we got blood already gushing out of the dome of my dude. Travis relentless in his attack. Knee to the jaw. Now Rex helping him back up. Travis, I like saying Travis. Travis Rex and your boy Blaze go back. Go way back. Oh, face first meet the turn buckle. Glad to be a part of the show. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys pay your respects right back. Thumb it up, share it out, let people know. This is just a test. Well, this is the beginning of the quest to get this title back off of Travis Rex. Travis said, throw it all at me. The kitchen sink, anything you got. I'll fight anybody. You must physically remove this belt from my hands. 
if you're going to get it back. I kind of admire that to a point, but the question still remains, I guess, on both sides. Why didn't Travis Rex travel to AKW to defend this title? And why didn't Corey Quinn come on his own to get this belt off of Travis? I guess we'll just have to stay tuned to find out. Haidu has this table now. And he's going to throw the second table into the ring. I mean, you got to think both men's strategy is to make this clean. Two falls on the other person. Don't get sent through a table yourself. Maybe even back-to-back -back table spots to end it quick. Oh, I highly doubt that. These two. I know a lot more about Travis Rex, but studying up for this, I do is dangerous. He is lethal. And he's showing it right now, manhandling Travis Rex. Forearm smash the side of the head of Travis. Near the ringside area here. Oh, face first at the bottom of the ramp. Trav's in big trouble now. But I mean, for what it's worth, Haidu is doing tons of damage, but the end all be on this match is pinfalls ain't nothing, submissions ain't shit. You gotta put him through a table. Two tables. Oh, we got steel steps. I think Haidu's instructions may be a little more than just get the title off of Travis. Seems like an end game. Steel chair now stolen off of Haidu, and now Travis has it. They're trying to take Travis Rex out. And I ain't talking about dinner and movie. He threw the damn table on him. Now Travis Rex having a little... Oh, he threw that steps right in the face of Haidu. And now pandering to the crowd. Travis, now he has control of the fight. The goal is to put him through tables, but like I said, these two are out to hurt, they're out to injure, they're out to crush, they're out to destroy. Deal tear to the home piece, holy piss in a bottle. Now look at all the toys in the ring, you gotta love it. I think Travis finally realizing he wants to end it. Power bomb, deadly at ringside here. Blood gushing out of the face of High Doom. And Travis dragging him closer here. Helping him back up to a vertical base. Travis Rex gonna throw High Doom back in the ring. Here we go, more chaos, more carnage here in Pittsburgh. The Wrestling Network, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your friends and family know about it. Cutthroat coming back soon full time. Who knows? Stay tuned. You know your boy Blaze will be right there to bring it to you, baby. Stomping away is Travis Rex. Again with I do. Into the near corner. Table number two. He's gonna use it as a weapon. He's setting it up. Looking for the first ball. Here is Travis. I mean. I want to say champion. Technically, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, he's a champ. He's a champ. <laughs> At least here, he can't really argue with it. Plus, he's paying me really well, I told you. And we got more blood now. Travis is gushing. I do instructions seem to be clear. Take the title but destroy Travis in the process. There's one table. That's one. One fall for Haidu. And now Travis. Looks like that title belt's going back to AKW and Corey and Roger Finn. This does not look good for Travis. He may have barked up the wrong tree. Another thing you can think of that got himself in a lot of trouble. Over too much confidence, maybe for Travis Rex. Trying to mount a comeback here, but now he needs two back to back. Down one fall, two table spots. That is big. Take down there by Travis. Travis going up top. Tiffy. Frog splash. Got him.
This ain't even a wrestling match, people. It's a damn fight. It's a damn brawl. It's a slobber knocker, a Donnie Brook, a Breckus, whatever you want to call it. And that's what Cutthroat Pro Wrestling is all about. The more hardcore, the more extreme, the better. Paintbrushing the face of Haidu. He to the nose. Now setting up table number two. That one in the corner is still deadly as well. Two falls to win. Haidu has one. Travis looking to, well, he's got to tie it up if he's going to try to win. One more thrown through the table, and that is it for Travis Rex's quest to keep this AKW World Heavyweight Championship belt in his possession. Dropped up on top, I do. The man from Kyoto, Japan. Up top, it could be a mighty Asuka Hey, if there's a table underneath them, this shit would have been over. Oh, it's but You know this thing. Back at it now, I do. Grabbing his own piece of Travis. Travis with a shoulder block, who ropes? Back in now, catches an elbow, no kind of avoids it. And now, side slam coming up, no backbreaker by Travis Rex. He's just leaning into it. Adding to the pain, adding to the punishment on Haidu Nagata. Kick to the gut here by Travis. Like I said, it's two times. Through the tables if you're gonna do it. A murder driver would normally end it. But it's tables. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Trying again here. This time he got it. Travis Rex gets the second fall. We are even. The next table spot will end the match. Can Haidu take the title off of Travis Rex? Or will Travis continue to claim he is the real AKW Heavyweight Champion having never lost this championship? Get a chair to the head. Both men. Oh, he throws it at him. Draped in blood. Travis with a knee. Travis Rex trying to finish the job here. Gorilla press slam. Look at him just toying with Haidu. We got remnants of tables and chairs everywhere. One fall apiece. Who's gonna walk out with this title? Will Haidu be able to take this title back? Probably get even a bigger cash reward. Paid as assassin to take the title belt out and punish Travis Rex, and he's doing that right now with those forearms right to the side of the face. Our elbow tie up now to the uh, far corner, Haidu. Gonna prop him up like whoa. You got him like whoa. Travis like whoa. Steel chair like whoa. Oh no. What does he have in mind? He throws the chair to the corner. Travis Rex is in trouble. Haidu is claiming victory. There's one thing left to do. Someone's gotta go through a table. I do stalking his prey. I mean, I, I, I'm far from over. Now my mind going a million miles a minute. If Travis can find a win, who will Roger Quinn and AKW throw at him next? And you won't have to worry about that if I do can get the victory and return the gold back to the Quinns. Right on his back, Travis Rex. Both men gushing blood, losing fights. Oh, nice maneuver there by Travis. Oh, an elbow tie up, and now into the near corner as I do. 
Elbows repeatedly by Travis. Up and back up. He knows that table's in the corner. Oh, knee strike. Got him. Travis Rex has I do right where he wants him. This could do it. Got to put him through that table. He's right into it. It could be a big mistake by Travis. Pandering to the crowd there. Uh-oh, maybe not. Oh, there it is. The table spot. Check out the highlights. Travis keeps the bell. Who's that? Insult to injury, rubbing it in the face, literally of high do. Well, your winner and still AKW World Heavyweight Champion, Travis Rex. Hey, we'll see who's next. Stay tuned. Hit that subscription button. Stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up. Share it out. We'll see you soon for more Cutthroat Pro Wrestling, baby. This is only the beginning.